your girl Glamazante, period. <laughs> now, I'm just trying to get my intro together because I say, you know what, I need to do what I do. I always just come here like, hey, y'all. But y'all know my name, and if you knew, make sure you subscribe. So, today is Sunday. Um, I normally do my little Sunday reset, but let me tell you, I'm putting my friends to work today. So, I have to put that chandelier up inside of my office, so I want to get that done today, as well as my stitches in my back from the previous vlog. I want to get them removed, and then also, I would like to get, what else would I like to do? Oh, my pergola, I would like to put that cover up over top of my patio in the back. The one in the front, I already got that covered. But the one in the back, I need to get that done. That way we can be outside. And it's actually, uh, I actually have some lights as well. So I want to hang my lights up and get that all over around the house. So that's pretty much what my goal to do things is today. I'm going to have my homeboys come over. Oh, also, I ended up ordering, uh, what is it, a console table from Amazon. I'm going to have that linked in my Amazon store because I've been tearing Amazon up. So, I might, I don't know if I'm going to put that together today. I might just have them take it upstairs for me because the box is super big and pretty heavy. Um, but yeah, that's my game plan today. I ended up watching Sisters last night on, what's that show? I watched it on Amazon Prime, B, well, come on, BET Plus. Watch it on BET Plus and girl, Sisters, uh... I don't know. If you ain't turning into two sisters, you need to turn in, tune into it. But I just want to say for the people that do watch sisters, Karen is blowing me. Like, we seen this train wreck coming and Karen just proceeds to keep going like, okay, you want to do the most? Okay, do the most. But Karen, I can't do the most with you because with me sitting here watching it, it's almost a trigger for me. It's like, child, mm-mm. All my friends just hit me up asked me was I available to meet at Piedmont today. Um, hey friend, I'm getting, okay, so that happened, but that's pretty much what my day consists of, so right now I'm just doing a little spot cleaning, about to take some stuff downstairs, and just keep going, so let me go to my wig closet, because honestly, I feel like I like a bald chicken, I took them lashes off, I was like, they were growing out. I didn't realize lashes grow out like that. And girl, they was literally growing out, growing out. So I'm about to take y'all downstairs to my little wiggy. It's my storage room, but it be my wigs in there. Child, this is my little wig thing. Look at all them wigs. I need to do better. I need to really, I really need to go ahead and just wash them and stuff and just get them out of here and sell them because I mean, this one kind of look frizzy, but it's never even been used, to be honest. It's just because it's in this basket, but I definitely need to do a wig sale. That should be definitely coming soon. Come on, baby. Yes, handy at work. Okay, y'all. So, this is my lighting in my room now in the office so far of how it's been set up. I got my sewing machine there. That's pretty much the only thing. But the light looks amazing and I want to show you guys what it looks like with the light on and it brightened this whole room up. I ended up getting this lighting system off of Amazon so check my Amazon store and I got the lights off there as well. Um, it did come with a longer stick. You guys see it's pretty short <laughs> but it did come with a longer stick right here. At that point I literally didn't put these three bars. Um, I left it like this but if I do go and move this fixture to another part of the house and I need it to be longer then I'll just add the bars back in but this is what we got so far I actually like it though so you see it's coming together I'm just gonna have to really get these things and move them because technically this stuff now over here is a part of my other room so so far so good everything looks really really well So, I don't know, I might do my get ready with me in here or my outfit of the day. Um, I probably think this will be the best set of it. Yeah, that's what we're working with, you know. A little stress, so I'm gonna give me a massage. My friend came over, set the massage table up. I will have his book and info. His book and info in the bio if y'all ready to book. Period. Alright, come on, boy. 
So y'all know I just been continuously vlogging because I've been missing, but taking time for myself, but also coming on camera when I feel like I want to. Um, first things first, I wanted to wear me some white blonde hair. I've been missing it. So I had this wig that I got that was handmade from China pretty much. And I was like, you know what? I haven't really been wanting to work with companies. A lot of companies have been reaching out to me, hair companies, but I just not been not in a mood to do hair videos. So what I said is I wanted to do a fresh wig though. I have so many wigs. And I think I told you on my last video, I've been replacing the frontals on some of them. So with this one, like, girl, look how raggedy this frontal is. Just because I wore this wig so many times. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to buy me a new frontal. So what I did is I literally cut off the old frontal. And then took the new frontal that you guys can see is super nice and fresh. Super fresh. And I just pinned it on. And if you want to, you can like sew it hand sew, but y'all know I got my sewing machine, so I'm just gonna sew it with my sewing machine. And I am pretty much just about to lay the wig down. So that is really what I'm doing at the moment, to be honest. Because I gotta make sure. And then I was supposed to be going to the Barbie premiere in LA tomorrow. Girl, this is the first brand trip I've turned down. Normally I'd be all gun home and ready to be ready to go. I guess I still have time to kind of change my mind, but right now I just kind of want to be home. So that's what I'm doing, stuff that keeps me home which is new for me but you know you gotta do what you gotta do sometimes but that's originally where the blonde idea came from so i'm about to sew this and make sure i'm really sewing it One time I thought I was sewing some stuff, girl, when someone no. And in this office, in this office, I really do need to create a space where I'm able to do my sewing and not have to like put my machine, like have a designated area where my machine just stays up. That way I could just hop on the machine and not have to go around and try to figure out where my head is at. But let me tell you, ever since I've been replacing these frontals, I've been loving it. Oh, hold up. My little, little pins came out. What is this? I don't even know where this hair is from. Okay. I'm gonna show y'all as soon as it's. Wait, I really could just go buy new wigs to be honest, but I don't know. I'd be having sentimental value to some of my wigs. So I was like, no, I just want to go ahead and replace it. But yeah, and maybe honestly, for my wig sales, I'll just replace frontals too, because that would make it a lot better if somebody wanted like a new frontal on their wig and make it like brand new. Child, I can do that. I need to do a wig sale. That's what I need to do. Hey y'all, good morning. I know y'all probably like, girl, last time we seen you, you was not giving this, and you sure is correct, honey. So let me tell you, right now, I'm trying to get my hair right, first off. So right now, I am on my way to the airport. So since I live in Atlanta now, and I really wanted to just like, get into my energy, I wanted to drive to the airport because I felt like, I never had done that before, so I didn't know if it was a different experience than me Ubering. And honestly, I'm only going to be gone for one day, so I was like, it ain't like my car going to be sitting in a, you know, lot for the long, long, long time. So I just wanted to see how it was to drive. This is my first time. Even when I was in LA, I never drove to the airport except one time, and I missed my flight. So I just literally didn't even get out of the car. I was like, I'm too late. 
and they said you had to prepay and all this other stuff. So child, I was like, eh, all right, we ain't doing, we gonna be doing that again. Kind of was given, so I feel like right now it's just like, eh, let's try something new. Um, my flight don't take off till 9:50, meaning I have to get to the gate by 9:40, and it's saying I'm gonna get to the airport at 8:50, and I have TSA and I'm not checking the bag, so I should be definitely good. Um, but yeah, I'm going home to pick up rain. And I'm also going home to see my family because, you know, I, I feel like it was warranted. I needed to, especially after everything I discussed in the last vlog. Um, but also, I want to see my baby, Mumu. I miss her so much. So, yeah, that's what the plans is for right now. But I gotta show y'all my outfit is so cute. But yeah, I had a. I was like, let me do my hair real quick. Now this frontal I got is another frontal I got from the Beast Spot store. It's a 613 one. So I've been, girl, I've been just trying out all these little frontals because I want to see if they really giving, and if I really want to like, you know, keep wearing my little Beauty Supply frontals or what. And I also ordered some frontals off of Amazon. So I'm gonna let y'all know the quality and what it's giving if it's worth it too because maybe ain't nobody got time for that. But I was so happy because I just looked at my um. I was so happy that I just looked at my bank account. Child, the ACH transaction went through. Basically, y'all know companies pay me and stuff. So, honey, I just got my bands. I was like, oh, wasn't expecting that, but thank you. Come again. So, yeah, that's why I'm on my way to the airport, y'all. But, Lord, help me and be with me because I have never. I haven't drove to the airport and like parked and left my car. So, honey, God, watch over my car. You know how these Atlanta people be. And on top of that, I just feel like I just want to see what it's giving if it's worth it. Because you know, I do. I just got so accustomed to taking so many different Ubers because I lived in LA. But now I'm in Atlanta. Like you know, you can drive places. You can do stuff. So, I'm like, all right, let me see. Especially if I plan on making Atlanta like home home. I need to see what every aspect is, but also I think I just want to try it out and see. Especially for one day. Cause honestly, it's crazy because the Uber, well y'all know when I do Uber, I do Uber uh, Black or XL. So it was like the Uber coming was 60, 60 one way coming. And then I think like maybe 75 coming back. I'm like, all right, let's see. I'm only saving like $30, but still let's see. Well, no, I'm saving more than $30. Let's for me to park for one day, it said $32. But I think the more days you park, the cheaper it is. So, who knows? But we'll see. Listen, why? I just got to Baltimore, clearly. This camera is close as heck. And yeah, we need to make you like this. Oh my God, so I just got to Baltimore. Girl, why? This little stuff is trying to put the moves on me. <laughs> I'm gonna tell y'all when I get in the car. Hold on. Hold on. Should have chose right grasshopper. That shot got me feeling it a little bit. Okay, let me have it tell y'all this. You ain't gonna get no gas. I was in the airport and this girl tried to talk to me. So basically, I was in the TSA line and it was a couple in front of me. So she looked at me like, and I looked at her like, literally, we was both giving close the door, boy. The music, the music. Oh. <laughs> So we was giving each other the eye child and we was looking at each other and then basically it was a couple in front of me and they was about to go to her line because her line came open for the TSA. She was a little steady and she was like, nah, go over there. And then the man was like, huh? She was like, go over there. So the next thing you know, I was the next person. So she was like, you come over here. And I'm like, ooh, yeah, what about it? <laughs> so I went over there and then that's when she was like, where you from? Or no, where you going? I said Baltimore. And then that's when literally um, she did my little thing and she was like, yeah you good and I was like alright but then I think she was trying to look for me because my bags went through the thing I was waiting for it to come out the um the little 
thing, but I seen her get off of the I seen her get off of her little thing she was working on and walk, but I think she either went to the bathroom or somewhere, but child, she missed me, but I was like, yeah, and what about it? One thing about it, I'll take a steady at the, the airport. Give me free flights, Buki. <laughs> yes, drop up this shoulder. The traffic is deadly. This is so illegal, but we don't have time to wait. Put your seatbelt on. We doing. You can't ride and do two things at once. Do y'all do this? Ride the shoulder? Cause I definitely do. Once I was so mad, I rode the shoulder all the way down. I was like, I don't like no traffic. It's always like this. It's a Tuesday. Let me tell you something. What? If you ever gonna ride in a car with a guy, make sure they know how to get gas. I told him to get gas. Just smoke. Would you stop? I thought you get gas. 40 it's your ago. fault. I was asleep. No, you were driving. You, you, First off, he was driving. I said, You gonna get gas? You ain't gonna get no gas? You ain't gonna get no gas? He's supposed to be turning the car around on the side where the pump is. He drives off. I said, You're dozing off. You want me to drive? I drive. Now we look at the car. It says it's four miles. <laughs> Until I saw E. The gas station was five miles, five point six. By the grace of God, we Somehow made it. Somehow you had ran out of gas and you had to push the car. I didn't push the car. Tell him who was pushing. You never pushed the car. He just be lying. If we was pushing cars, I would have showed y'all. And we so close to my mama house, I wouldn't been pushing nothing. I would just call my mom and left you. Well. You would have got left, Buki. So y'all know I was scheduled to get my stitches taken out today, but then I was like, I'm not gonna be available. So the lady told me my mom or somebody, anybody could take them out for me. All they had to do was snip it. So I'm gonna get my mom to take it to stitch out. Then also, I never told y'all. So the shuttle was super easy. Literally, let me tell you, it was so easy. I think I would only do it though if I'm going on a trip for like a certain amount of days. But I know sometimes when me I go on a trip and then I'd be like, oh, I'm just gonna stay for a couple extra days and then end up it'd be a lot of money. I don't want to do that, but literally, let me tell you, I did the shuttle. I walk, I was going into the thing. I used the QR code. They had like a little QR code that they scan, scan the QR code. I went in and I kept looking around I'm like, where is the bus to pick me up at? Like where I wanted to park as close to where the bus would pick me up as possible. Cause they said it was a shuttle. At first I didn't know it was a shuttle, but once it was too far gone at that point. So I was like, okay, where is the shuttle? Girl, why I park? And then I kind of like started like getting my stuff together to get it out the freaking car. The man driving the shuttle literally pulled up behind my Mercedes and was like, um, I'm, I'm, I'm the one that gives rise to the shuttle. Like, I was like, oh, snap. So he literally said what they do is when you drive in and they see you, they just roll around and wait until you're done at your car. And then you just get on. And I just got there. But I literally got on my flight by 9 37 they closed the doors of the the flight was at 9 50 they closed the doors by 9 40 girl i was scrolling taking my time and got to the doors by 9 37 not even realizing i was that close to missing it i was the second to last per i got on and then one person came behind me but i still made it with, with an aisle seat so you know your world was like <laughs> still happy um but hey say hey aunties and uncles hi my pretty baby. Girl, this color is still lasting, but I made an appointment so she can get her hair done, so she's gonna be getting it done. Getting a little cut down, but look at the baby. Oh, our little sweetie pie. Mommy loves you. Honey, look, then we got HD camera now. Little baby. Mommy pie. Say hi. Hi, Dana. Girl, she been just chillaxing and relaxing. My mom and Rain is here. Hey y'all. The girls. Hi everyone. <laughs> she's supposed to cut my stitches, Rain. Make sure she don't cut me. Yeah, I'm scrubbing up now. Now she's scrubbing up like she. <laughs> Rain, look. <laughs> Not you trying to, oh, don't look. I'm busting my pants. Not you trying to scrub. Yeah, like this is a real doctor job. Now, mommy has to 
You see the stitch? She has to pull it. Oh, I need my glasses on. Please. You see it? Is that it right there? Is that? Right here. Girl, I think it done fell out. It looks like it's a little bit of pus there. Pus? Like a little pus stuff there. Girl, hush. There ain't no pus on me. What? It's looking like. You still got soapy, y'all. <laughs> I ain't ready to be sure yet. <laughs> I don't know. She should be doing this. Mind your business. I can't. Just keep still. I got a big visual. Did I hurt? A little bit. Okay. Did you get it? Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm scared to cut it. Why are you scared to cut it? I'm gonna cut you. All you're doing is grabbing it. Just cut it. We'll turn to towards the light. I told you let rain hold the flashlight. Like, once you snip it, you can just pull it. Got it. Dang, it's out. Mm -hmm. Ew, look at it, right? Ooh. It still has a little pus back here, so I'll clean it up. <gasps> Girl, I'm looking at Rain's stuff. Rain got her sunglasses. Hold up, you got your money in your bag. <laughs> you got your sunglasses. I got my headphones. You got some headphones. What's this for music? Yeah. And you of got course. some. What is this? What's this? The bomb. Not a little chapstick. Mmm. <laughs> Go rain. And then you hold on. Show them what the sticker say. <laughs> What's that? The junior officer on um, transportation and security admission. So you do security? Like, is that your job? No. They. they <laughs> no, they like denim. So they like denim because I had to hold her when she was out of her um. Don't you know when you have to go to? Yeah. I had a whole order, so they liked her. So they gave me me and her a sticker. Oh, go ahead, Ray. <laughs> we made it through. Was you nervous? No, not really. I think that's us. Then I'm just here. My little baby, my little baby. <laughs> hey, y'all. So, let me turn it this way. So. Basically, I, oh, you know that camera is HD, baby. Let me get you back on this side, period. Hold on. Hey, honey. So basically, I finally made it to the pool. Rain wanted to come to the pool so bad. She is out here enjoying herself. I would flip the camera, but I don't want to show the kids. But she is having the time of her life. Before she come over here, I'm going to record her a little bit. But yes, we made it to Atlanta. Is body in. I think I'm gonna switch back to my other lens because even though this one's blurs the background super good, I feel like I will talk later. <laughs> so me and Rain is here first night. How you feel? Good. I'm glad because I was nervous because Rain ain't really been away from our mom, but <laughs> she doing new stuff. So how was your day today? Day. She met all these different people at the pool and stuff. I'm like, period. So we about to go to sleep. Oh my God, Denim is upset she going to the groomers. <laughs> Denim, you got, you ain't gotta be upset. I'm taking you. Come on, pumpkin. Can I go? Yeah, you can go. Morning, everybody. I just dropped Denim off at the groomers. Rain is in the back seat or whatever. And when I tell y'all, I had to go to sleep on Rain. Rain wanted to stay up all night and watch TV, baby, and I let her. I did not stay up with her because I had to go to sleep. I was tired. But we got a really pretty busy day today. So yesterday we just got back in, so we went to the pool. But I'm really glad that we went out there because I actually got to meet a lot of my neighbors. So that was, like, good. But now I'm on my way to go to the... Um, Back to the house, we're gonna get dressed for the day, and then we're gonna head out, and we're supposed to be getting our nails done, shopping. We also got to go to these two different little events tonight for kids. We're going to the Shmu Institute. I thought that was super dope. I found it online, so I was like, I wanna go. And then we also gonna go to Sky Zone, which is like a jumping trapeze type place. Trampoline park. We're going to do those two things, and then after that, we're just gonna keep moving, honestly. So, that's what we got going on. We just gotta go home and get dressed real quick because I just hurried up, but they told me dinner ain't gonna be ready till way later. So, at that point, honey, that's when I'll um, 
do her, but we got some free time until then. But hopefully she ain't there till three. Shoot, it's ten o'clock right now. Oh no, it's nine thirty. She ain't gonna be happy about that. She ain't gonna like that. No, she won't. Mm -mm. She ain't gonna like that at all. So yes, I will check back in with y'all when I get to the house. I don't have a clue what I'm putting on today, but I gotta make some returns and do some stuff like that. So yeah. you know, I'll let the girls know. And we'll be back. But so far, so good. Rain, are you enjoying yourself? Are you having a good time? Yeah, I'm, I'm totally. Okay, not totally, period. <laughs> so my sister, she taught me how to backstroke, too. I did. I told her how to backstroke yesterday. So she did really good. Because Rain know how to swim. And remember, I told y'all I learned how to swim not too long ago. But uh, I do know how to do the backstroke. So I had taught Rain how to do the backstroke. Good. <laughs> Oh, really? <laughs> Find the store out. <laughs> you like my boy? It's on you home. Let's push it back. I just took a shower. And now I am about to get ready. I'm about to beat my face a little bit. I don't think I'm going to do too much because we just doing some like running around stuff. So, as y'all know, denim's at the denim is at the groomers. And me and Rain got two things to do. And we went to the grocery store. That was a quick trip. That's why I didn't really vlog much. But now we need to go to the um, Rain want clams. So we have to find somewhere that has clams. So <laughs> we got to go to do that. And yeah, so I'm just going to beat my face. Not like crazy, but just a little something like, you know, just to spruce it up because I will be out today. <sighs> Let's see how we do on a natural beat. I don't really do too many natural beats, but I'm eager to do one. And I think she's right now watching Disney. So, let's get in sweat, baby. Hurry, I'll be back. Your girl is here. <laughs> girl, okay, so basically, I need to still do my hair, but I got some new lashes from Amazon. I updated my Amazon store, so don't you worry. I got new lashes, so I got these ones. They're like super wispy, and I got these ones. So I wanna try the little wispy ones today. And put these lashes on. I think they was cheap too. I got like all these for like eight bucks or something like that. Like I could see these easily become my favorites. Also, girl, I try to say I was gonna do a light beat. I just really changed up the foundation I use. But other than that, I think everything else is. I just didn't put it on as heavy, but hopefully it don't look ashy. Period. Okay. So I did a little different. Y'all let me know if y'all like this foundation color better. Which it makes me a little bit lighter because my other one is like um a little bit more orangier. I think we I think we were discussing that last time. But y'all trying to put these lashes on. So I'm gonna put these little wispy lashes on. We gonna see how they look, and y'all let me know how y'all feeling them. Um, I had to stop in the middle of doing what I was doing, so I'm gonna just come back and get my um, come back and finish everything. Cause she was done fast. Look at Daniel. Go Dan, go Dan, go Dan, go Dan. Okay, see how she look more comfortable now. Okay, you got my glass out of her. Okay, thank you. You can give it to me. Please. One, two, or just put them in the front seat for me. Now we're going home. Girl, it's so much light going on in here. Because normally I don't have my chandelier light on. When I don't, this is what it is. Dark. But for beauty purposes, we'll keep the light on. What's wrong? Yeah. So, my lashes, super wispy, pretty. I love them. These are the ones I put on. They will be linked in my Amazon store. These ones that I actually put on are the 3D. These are the 3D wispy ones that you will see on my Amazon store. So right now I'm about to finish doing my hair. I can just with you with my mother liquor. Okay. 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 Okay.
we're gonna have to probably do your hair a little different. This is the one I've been using on my edges. And anything else will make my stuff greasy. Anything. This don't make it greasy and it hold it. I'm gonna give you panda ears on the side, okay? Mm-hmm. Beautiful. Your natural curls, it's beautiful. Where's my comb? Anything going on new? What's new with you? I might get braces. I am gonna get braces. Huh? I am gonna get braces. How you feel about that? I guess I <laughs> Mommy had braces. You didn't. Huh? Did you? You didn't. Mm -mm. I didn't have braces. Me and Chris didn't have braces. Me and Mommy had braces. But Mommy didn't really need braces. She just wanted them. Mommy had a gap like me. But she didn't like her gap. The gap looks good. You have to run up it and then it's not like you have to run up it and before you fall. Mm hmm. Um, How they look? Good. Move your hair from that. Yeah. Cute, cute. <laughs> okay, so let me get ready and then we can leave. Y'all, well, I was thinking about going back to press on, I mean not press on, acrylic. Because I always wear French tips anyway, so I was like, maybe I could just get me some French tips. You know what I'm saying? Because my press ons lately ain't been pressing on. <laughs> but I know it's because of me, because I've been using janky glue. I need to use that glue from Amazon, KDS glue. That's the best glue for nails. It's in my Amazon store too. KDS though, it's the best. That's what I was using before, then I stopped because I ran out, so I was like buying stuff in the store, but honey, whatever. Okay. Okay, let's do this. I'm like a Caucasian lady. Let me turn this. One thing about this camera, she don't play. If it wants you to look like girl. You been Caucasian. <laughs> okay, let me show y'all what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing my little palms bag, LB bag. I got on this shirt I'm gonna be wearing. It's like a Shein shirt. I got these dunks. One of my friends got me for my birthday. And I'm also gonna be wearing these. These are my Kimmel Cargos. So let me go ahead and put that on. Ooh. This is my fit in its entirety. Oh Lord, I said I didn't know if I was going to put my Marnie slides on, the little fuzzy ones or these, but I'm going to put on my dunks for sure. And it's the vibe. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay guys, so before me and Rain head out real quick, I wanted to do a quick haul on some stuff I ended up getting because it just came in the mail. So I got so much stuff from Ego and I want to show y'all because they had a super big sale, like everything was like five dollars, like super cheap. So basically, when I pull the shoe out, you can tell me how much it is, okay? Okay. That's gonna help me out a lot. So, this is the shoe. So with this one, I thought it was so cute. Like a little claw or whatnot. Girl, I was like, cute. How much was the ring? It was $7. Seven freaking dollars. I was like, oh, I gotta get these. They're so cute. I don't think the sale is still continuously going on. But look at these, it's like a little clog. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Girl, not I'm ashy, but don't pay attention to my ash. But either way, the shoe was super cute. I'm like, okay, okay. So wrap up your leg. I like the wicker basket look on it, and then they're super strappy. I don't have like really no periwinkle purple sandals. I have like maybe a few, but not like a lot. And how much was these ring? Um, I I believe these was $11. Yeah, these was $11. So these ones were only like $11. Got the little doll going on. Mm. Girl, I tell you, Ego was doing a big one. So this is the next one I ended up getting. Now these ones, I never really liked this kind of style of a shoe, but it was so cheap. I was like, let me just try it out. So how much was these ones, Ray? Right? 
Yeah, you got it. Seven dollars. So these ones were seven dollars. Now I'm not gonna hold you. I don't know where I'm wearing these shoes and how I'm wearing them, but they look good on my foot. What you think? Yeah. You like them? Yeah, they look cute. Yeah, they look cute. But I didn't think I was gonna like them. But I actually do like them. It's like a flip flop heel. Yeah. That's the exact vibe it was going for, right? Flip flop heel. Yeah, because heel heels like sometimes a little uncomfortable. Yeah. I don't feel like these would get uncomfortable because they yeah. got like really strong platform on them. So, so they're like black and strappy. How much? So these were fourteen dollars. Yeah, these were fourteen. Okay, fourteen dollars. Mm -hmm. But I'm like, why not? They fourteen dollars is super cheap. So, shoes. I mean, I, mean, I could really do a shoe haul. I'm over here showing y'all. I'm gonna drop a shoe haul though. So y'all can see what they look like. Oh, and then look, girl, they had nerve on Ego to have some little, some little Uchis, some little sliding Uchis. So I was like, I'm gonna get them. But these wasn't on sale. These was actually worth $40. 44 Yeah, these ones are actually $44. It just don't, um, it don't. Yeah, no picture. Yeah. Cause I know they probably took these right, after these sold out, they probably took them right off the site. So these was like $44. I was like, okay. We see what y'all trying to do there. Now, I was gonna get the traditional black um, gold one. Mm -hmm. Okay, so these ones was $11. They actually strap up the leg too. This is more of like, if you more like a, not basic, but you know, just wanted like black little slide in. I just thought it was sexy. Like the skinny little strap, love the little abstract heel on it. They seem like they'd be fairly comfortable, but I have to try them on. But okay, that was like my mini haul I wanted to do real quick. So now me and Rain is about to go out. We gotta get denim some food. We literally just went and picked up some food for my daughter. You wanna show them? Yes. Now, my mama started feeding denim that. So basically she mixes the chicken and rice with, you put it down now. She mixes the chicken and um rice with it. And it denim apparently she said really, really likes it. So. That's what we've been doing. We're cute girls. I love this shirt. I got I got it from Shein. Come take my order, lady. <laughs> Hi. Hello. Is that your name for your order? Tay. Eight piece grilled nugget. You want a meal? Um, just a nugget. Just a meal. Oh, look at it, right? Slow move. Uh, uh, uh. Now back. 2017, people started sharing Instagram stuff. Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? Who are you? There's orange butter and a purple jelly, which is kind of more see through and a lot more drippy. Pink. She said this one was the really wet one, ain't it? Yeah. Right? Huh? You get the size of my paw. It's gonna be hard. It looks so cute. Remember, try not to step in that slide because it is gonna stick. Are you enjoying yourself? Yes. If you have any questions, go Ray. That's good. What's this one feel like? It feels hard. Ugh. Kind of like hard. Look at this, y'all. So crazy. <laughs> Glad I don't have my nails on. They would have came off. They would have all came off. This one is like super textured. Yes. Ooh. Oh, this feels so weird. That. Oh. That's my favorite. Oh my god. I can't believe it. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. You having fun? <gasps> you could have been having fun. Okay, so basically, if you stand under this, it'll play a sound. But you gotta guess the sound it is. This was 
sound good. We got slime. <laughs> Rain got me back because I made her do a cannonball in the pool. I didn't do it. So she made me get extra slime. <laughs> Y'all, look at us. Now we're trying to clean our little shoes. We're trying to clean our shoes off. Thank you for the, um, give me a tour. You guys want to head to Tupelo? Smell it. Oh. And then you went to the corner. I would never turn off the corner. Oh, look at you. I like the color. You do. It's mine. Ooh. Oh, look at the face. Look at my hand. Look at my hand. Look at my hand. Look at my hand. Uh, this is crushed peacock or good job rain and so what was your rate how did you feel about it i feel like five stars i really enjoyed myself i felt like it was nice i felt like it was very fun it was like very interactive i had a good time mm -hmm. me too like child not rain fell asleep one thing about a kid they gonna sleep hold on rain yeah You was asleep. Huh? I know, yes, she was. I got pictures of you. You okay? You tired? Okay. You ready to go in here and jump or are you too tired to jump? Oh, we here? Yes. <laughs> you been asleep. I let you sleep for a little bit. We've been here. Oh. I just was letting you sleep. Uh, can I pour some water on my house? How you gonna say you ain't sleep and didn't know we was here? Well, I didn't know. I thought we had a little bit of ways to go. No, it's right there. Oh. Girl, you was knocked out. <laughs> I found a um, Kroger next to here too, so I'm gonna go get the clamps and then tonight I'll make you the um, shrimp, the shrimp Alfredo, shrimp scampi Alfredo. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but yeah, you can put one on your face. I'm about to get out too. Ready? Mm -hmm. Alright. You ready? I'm scared. You go up this ramp. them hold on to these hooks here stand up grab on to these yeah yeah <laughs> I got it <laughs> right so me and rain just finished cooking dinner 
we cooked shrimp scampi, but I feel like shrimp scampi linguine Alfredo, but she wanted white sauce. I don't really care for white sauce, but I made it. And then um, I like garlic butter sauce. So we did both. Let me show y'all. The sauce, y'all look light. Made the sauce. I'm about to turn the burner back on so we can warm it up. Here. So that one, I'm about to put this sauce inside of there with the linguine. And then mine, I'm not having that sauce. And then here's the broccoli. Put a lot of sauce in it. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Oh, look, it's bubbling. Yeah. This looks delish. Delish, you show me. Rain didn't think I could cook, honey. I'm talking about grandma doesn't do that. Look at it. Delicioso. <laughs> yum, yum, yum. <laughs> yummy, yummy, yummy. Oh, oh, we make clams. Yummy, yummy. Clams. Well, these are mussels. Mussels, mussels, mussels. Mussels. Honey, here's the plate in the flesh, okay? Period. Yes. Good morning. How are y'all feeling? I am up. I just took a bath. Well, I just took dinner out to the bathroom, took a bath, um, picked my clothes out, and yeah. Say hey, mommy, come here. I know they've been looking for you, but you've been with your, your grandma. Look at my baby. Y'all, it's so funny. I didn't realize, I literally just realized today, Denim is a senior citizen. She's a senior dog. She just don't look like it. My girl is nine. Mm. My nine-year-old. Mm. You're nine. But um, right now, Rain is getting a bath and getting dressed, and we are going horseback riding today. So we'll see how this go. <laughs> I'm a little nervous. I've I've rode the horse before, but you just be nervous when you do stuff again for the first time. What you, what you want? Now you want to lick me and give me a kiss. I put lotion on my face. That's why. That's why. You did. My girl tired. I don't know what from. You be out all day taking naps. But yeah. Let me tell y'all. Okay, so I'm about to go in my beauty room. I feel like I'm always just in the beauty room. That's why I was trying to give y'all something different. But baby, if that's where we're going to be, that's where we're just going to have to be. Look at the horses. They hide. I know. Are you scared? Yes. Why? I mean, they kind of hide. Hey, y'all. So, um, me and Rain just made it. Rain wanted to do horseback riding. So, that is what we're doing today. Horseback riding. How do you feel, Rainbow? Good. I'm, I'm so glad you came. I feel like it got me in a better, happier space. I love your company. And you're so nice and sweet. And we got our hats. Honey child, because me and Rain just knew they was going to let us wear these hats. First off, they put helmets on us. And honestly, <laughs> I'm not mad about it because if we had fell, that would have been a tragedy. But, you know, it was nice for aesthetics. I don't know if we're going to wear them hats. Rain saying she's going to wear the hat. I'm telling her it's too heavy. But I made her, um, I made her little, I made her little stuff. I like a Caucasian lady. Huh? Oh yeah, you not it was hair on my lip. Also, let me show y'all the beat. This is what my natural face beat looks like. If y'all want a routine on this, let me know. It turned out so well. It's like my makeup, no makeup look, but it's like super minimal makeup. It's not much at all. Girl, I just had. <laughs> See y'all. Rain, I'm sleek that hair, honey. <laughs> there is sleek. You ready? Okay. We got long sleeves on so we don't get too sunburned. Yeah. Oh. You shouldn't get hot. You shouldn't get hot though, because you got weight on. I do. <laughs> There's gonna be forms right here on clipboards. The pins are in the cup to the right. Uh, we just Can need we a form it? put out for each of you. There's a front and a back. Pins up and pins here on the cup. Let me do one of them both. <laughs> <laughs> and then one more with your phone. You said, where's the Oh, oh, oh. that's the word. Bobby, Bobby for Rain 
Did you have fun? Mm hmm. How much fun? 500%. A <laughs> thousand. Rain was asleep the whole ride back, but she enjoyed her. So she had a ball. Literally, she told me I had so much fun. I said, Girl, I'm glad. Because I don't know if that's going to be happening again, child. I don't know. <laughs> but, um,. No, for real. I'm really glad she enjoyed herself. Honey, I'm feeling this no makeup makeup look. I don't know what's going on with my hair. Y'all know it be acting crazy and doing what it want to do when it want to do something. Child, but anyways. I never unpacked my bag from when I went to go pick up rain. So, I'm about to unpack my bag. And then also, in the midst of doing that, I just have to get myself together. But I'm about to go through and hang up my stuff right now. That needs to be put back on here. Girl, why I guess that my mom, this Louis Vuitton jacket, Supreme collaboration, years ago. And she never barely wore it. I'm like, girl, give me this jacket back. I took the jacket right back. Now, if my mom, if I buy her something and she wear it, then, you know, so be it. She never wore this jacket. She's had this jacket for maybe like seven years. I probably wore it like twice, three times. I said, girl, give me this jacket. So I got this back, but I said, you know what? Maybe it just wasn't her style. It was too young for her. Not even too young. Maybe she just didn't want it, but when I be buying her bags, like Louis Vuitton, MCM bags and stuff, she be loving it. But then she did not, she wasn't fooling with it. I mean, I, I get it. Maybe it's just not her style, but I'm about to hang all this stuff up right now. Um, and that's pretty much it. And watch a couple YouTube videos. Let me tell you, my press on fell off the other day. I'm so glad they did. Because when we went to that slime paste, if I had used those press ons in there, they probably would have plopped off, number one. Number two, it might have stained my nails. So I was like, you know what? God be working. So. Yes. Me and Ray are supposed to go to the movies, but honey, she laying down. And like I said, I'm about to straighten up a little bit because my house down and do look a little crazy but i am feeling the no makeup makeup look okay but yeah that's what i'm about to do so i guess i'll see y'all probably um when i'm finished with that i think i'm gonna make fried chicken and potato salad and macaroni and cheese tonight so i want to make my potato salad now so it'll chill after i'm done with this i'll probably make my potato salad and then i'll go into seasoning my chicken and doing all that stuff so we'll take y'all with us tonight because last night we made strip scampi alfredo and rain definitely helped me cook but y'all couldn't see it because my camera had died that's the only thing i will say about the canon m50 is the battery will die so i definitely suggest getting multiple batteries you can get some off best buy and they'll be like 60 dollars, but you can get some off amazon and they like are not the factory name batteries and i've used batteries that wasn't factory name and they still work Meaning they kind of like off-brand batteries. Um, but yeah, that's kind of what that's going with that. But yeah, y'all, I'm about to do this. And I low-key might start packing for my other trip. I'm thinking so. Depends on how I feel though. And yeah. So I will see y'all when I see y'all. Period. <laughs> Okay, so I cooked. I made squash. I had no zucchini, so I just did squash. I made potato salad because Rain wanted some potato salad. And my potato salad busts down, child. I also made some fried chicken, honey. Still got the chicken in the fryer. Well, Rain low-key kind of cooked the fried Rain cooked the fried chicken, period. <laughs> and then Rain wanted to try some Cheetos, what? hold on, Cheetos mac and cheese, bold and cheesy. I don't know, do you wanna give us a taste test if it's good? Yes, yes. See your face. Mm. It's definitely cheesy. Is it good? Tell the truth. Yes or no? Middle. Okay, middle. <laughs> but y'all, dinner, period. Good morning from the girls. So we about to cook breakfast together as sisters. 
So what we tell them what's on the, the menu for food. Uh, pancakes. And Why is this? Hold on, this camera moving. Okay, say so what? Pancakes, eggs, bacon, um, Muffin. muffins. Let's let's get the mix with the mixing. <laughs> Honey, we eating outside today. <laughs> Yum. And my mom is gonna get here around 8.30. And my mom's gonna get here at 8.30, so I gotta hurry up and get her. Um, I'm on my way to the airport now. I'm so sad it rains with me because I feel like I never really had like a sister relationship because <laughs> I just never had a sister relationship with someone. Like I always had a lot of friends that I would like assume or call sister, but I never really had like a sister sister type of thing. Um, like a real genuine good relationship with a sister. So I think that I just, I don't know, I just really enjoy our relationship. And I was so nervous. When I say nervous, I was so nervous to take her to four. I had anxiety attack. I've never babysat a child before, so I don't know. I just was super nervous, but it just turned out so well. But my mom just got, she just landed here, so I'm about to go get her because I don't want her to have to wait. So let me wake up everybody real quick. Child, I didn't even vlog them. Mama's lamb in the building. Girl, we didn't do much Save today. three minutes via South Terminal Parkway. Oh, please do. Flying up on Delta. So, not be flying on Delta, period. Child, she was so sleepy. We didn't do nothing. I was sleepy. I shouldn't have tried what I tried. Hold up. Y'all going to south, so I'm going to go to north, right? Nah. Delta's on. Delta's north. Delta's north. north I think. Yeah. Delta's I think north. Delta's north. Yeah, it is. So, I'm not going to try that anymore. I don't know why you was coming in that early anyway. Because that was the cheapest last one to test spirit out for like four sucks. So I, I totally don't out. do that. We all for spiritual lifting, but I don't fly spirit. I know, right? I remember that. I remember that when I was booking my, um, <laughs> when I was booking my flight. But I said, I'm just going to get the $44 flight. I'm not going to pick a seat. It's just me. I don't have no bags or anything. And I'm going to just see what spirit's about. And it really wasn't that bad. I got an aisle seat. Chill, please. And um, I know your butt was hurting. No. Rain. Yes. Are you gonna miss me? Of course. Why would I not wish my own sister? Well, then um, can I, I come back with the tribe? Can I come back? Yes. You gotta let me know when. I'm not she answering. Yeah. Can I come yeah, back? Yeah, you can come. Yes, girl, you can come back. We should pick that up. Yes. Then you wanna get in the vlog? Damn. Uh, but look how crispy my new camera is. It is real crispy. Come here. I'm gonna give you some pictures. Get it. Come it pick on. up everything. Yeah, some girl said she thought when I went like this, she thought I was about to come through the um. <laughs> she thought I was about to come through a TV screen. I said, yeah. But yeah, they're about to leave. Then I have to make some brightness. I took some pictures today too. I'm gonna show y'all them. They was cute for this wet T-shirt contest I'm supposed to be hosting. Mm -hmm. And yeah, when's the hosting drop off? End of the month, Pride okay. season. We're hosting and posting people. Host. Not hosting and roasting. <laughs> Lord, it is busy over here. You said it will take like twelve, mm -hmm. six minutes down like, to get three tenths of the Oh, they already implemented the traffic. I ain't miss my turn this time. Mm -hmm. North arrival. Oh my gosh, so I'm in Target and I see these pants. Basically, you see how they fit on the model? Slouch pants but open legs. So I'm gonna try these. I 
People be so nosy when this camera be going. That'd be so funny. I just got done shopping at Target and I'm really excited because I just got an alert on my doorbell telling me that my chairs are here. Y'all yeah, know my table's here, but now my chairs are here. So I'm so excited. Child, let me tell y'all they played with me at the gas station. I don't even know which way I want to come. I am flustered. Talk about how the gas station just played with me all types of ways. I'm at the gas station thinking I'm thinking nothing of it. I said, hey, can I get 75 on um pump six? Because I'm in my truck. And my truck normally takes like a hundred dollars to fill up. Sometimes a little more, depending on what area I'm in, but I wasn't completely on E. So I was just like, I just want to fill it back up. Girl, when I look at the register, charge my card seven. It says seventy. It said seventy-five. I seen the seventy-five, and I literally put my card in. Child, why it said seven hundred and fifty dollars? And somebody told me it was off because he said seventy-five. Like he was a part of the community, but he said, "Oh, you getting seventy-five dollars worth of gas? What car are you in?" And looked out there and seen the G-Wagon. Child, he gonna charge my car $750. So I'm looking at the car, the thing, and it said amount approved $750. When I tell you, I looked at him. What the? He goes, I'm so sorry. It charged $750. I'm so sorry. Baby, I was quiet because I just kept thinking to myself. I know you just didn't charge my car at. I know you just didn't charge my car at. I know you didn't just charge my car at. So I'm literally sitting there watching my homeboys on the phone. He's like, what's going on? What's going on? I told him, he said, oh, I'm about to come up there. Which one is it? I said, hold on to him on the phone. Child, we said, I'm literally looking. I said, I know you lying. He was like, I'm about to reverse it right now. I said, then I said, how long is it going to take to go back on my car? He said, one to three days. Mind you, like, I'm not tripping because I know I'm not going to spend $750 in it three days but what i will say for you to make a mistake like that is crazy because what if that was like my last 750 like you know what if that was my last because what 750 dollars to charge my car so i was like give me the receipt so he gave me the receipt to him like reversing it i said no i want all the receipts i want the initial transaction receipt i want the receipt of it being reversed i want them all and mind you i'm gonna call my bank too and make sure that it is being reversed because 750 dollars like that's wild like talk about being careless careless or you did it on purpose i don't know Mind you, I'm in there going off. One of my subbies, I see her, and she give me her business card. I'm like, thank you, sis. She was like, she do wood, wood therapy and stuff like that. I'm like, thank you, girl. But and I'm going to definitely hear her up, too, because I want to get some wood therapy, because I'm getting a little thick. <laughs> but $750? That's nuts. I really want to call my mama and them. Also, I just dropped my mom off and Rain and Denim at the airport. They're all going back to Maryland. And when I come back from my trip, I'm going to be picking Denim up. But can anybody guess where I'm going. Let's guess in the comments where you think I'm going for 750. Now I'm bouncing around. I'm super like, but $750 is crazy. $750, 750 is nuts. At the gas station when I only asked for 75. And I'm trying to understand where did we get the extra zero? Where did the extra zero come in? Because that's where I'm at with it. Like what? And he was like, I'm so glad you're not cussing me out. Thank you so much for not cussing me out. And then I'm looking at him. I said, what's your name? He gave me his name. I said, you better hope that money go back on there. Cause if not, I'm coming back up here. And he was like, he was like, okay. But what would y'all have done? Like, what do you do with that? What do you do in a situation like that? Like I have no choice but to keep calm because I'm trying to transform. But when I tell you, I really was looking like, huh? Like you charged my card seventy five. You charged my card seven hundred and fifty dollars when you was only supposed to charge it seventy five. Stop playing with me. But nonetheless, I'm on my way home. I think I'm gonna do a little Target haul when I get to the house, and then I have a YouTube video to film. I'm working with one of the companies I've always love their products i worked with them before um native i you remember i did a uh, hygiene video on them before and i literally purchased my own products so for me to be working with them that's such a blessing but i'm doing a video for them tonight um basically doing my normal regular hygiene summer hygiene 
stuff so if you're interested in checking it out check the link in the bio because I have it listed or go on my main page Glamazante also I would like to say if anybody is interested in coming on a Bali trip we do have a few spots left the trip is going down in October it's going to be two trips in Bali that are active and you can check the link in my bio as well as my link tree on my Instagram and both of those trips will be up there I'm super excited um, the time cutoff is coming close to for both of them so just make sure if you want to come to Bali, you have to go ahead and do all that on the site um, by October, I mean, by August the 17th. That is like the last day to sign up for the Bali trip. So if you want to come, you can come, but you got to make sure that you put your stuff in before time is up. Also, I'm going to be hosting a trip in Costa Rica that will be happening in April 2024. So if you guys are interested in doing that as well, that will be there. But I know a lot of people are wanting to see how the Bali trips go down. And let me tell you, they're going to be nothing but fun, good vibes and energy. Look at me bouncing around. I have to change. Like, look, when I'm talking, I have to change the momentum because if I keep talking about the same thing, it's going to be like, ah. You know, I don't want to be like her. I want to be me. But yeah. Mm, thank you, God. Because you know what? I'm glad that I don't let stuff bother me or irritate me the way it used to. Because, baby, that's a shame. But okay, I'm on my way. Bye. I just did my new hygiene care routine. And when I tell you, I look and smell so good. So. Right now, I am washing lovely tea, and I'm about to go ahead and give y'all this vlog, honestly, because, baby, everything is pretty much done, but I have some work I need to get done, and I need to go ahead and finish it and edit it up. <laughs> Let me tell you something. I'm sitting home. I'm just sitting home. And my friend calls me on the phone. So me and my friend is talking on the phone, just communicating. And then they bring up somebody that I was talking to, like, you know, dating. And I say, yeah, we supposed to link tonight because I'm about to give her something. Mind you, we hadn't talked for a little, a little, you know, just a cool little minute. We hadn't talked for much of a minute. Because at the point in time, we kind of just been shaky on and off, on and off, on and off, more a little off than on. But I'm thinking, okay, you know, it seemed like we might be getting together because, you know, sometimes space makes the heart grow fonder. Everybody can kind of get in a zone of where they want to be with a person. So in my mind, I'm over here, you know, I'm really over here focusing on myself. So I haven't really talked to nobody. I've been just really really just like he trying to heal trying to be a better me and just be better so let me tell you so my homegirl she go to a restaurant so me and my homegirl we on the phone she asked me updates about like my life and how me and so so doing i'm like yeah i don't know what space we in i feel like we kind of going to get a little bit better but you know right now i just need to really focus on myself and work on myself because i've been going through a lot like I be crying all freaking day long. Like, even though I'm back on social media, I'm trying my best to stay on it and be consistent and just show up because it's super hard. I'm just super emotional. I'm all over the place. I be having anxiety attacks. I be having panic attacks. I never was a person to do that. I would have anxiety attacks like maybe once every like three to four months, something like that. But Recently, I think my body is just like reacting to trauma or me just not responding well to this stuff that's going on. Like, I guess that normally I take trauma well. I hate to say it like that, but I don't react like this. And my body has just been really, it's almost about to make me cry now. I don't want to cry on this camera. <laughs> but I've just been really going through a lot. So I really haven't talked to anybody besides, you know, the little bit of people I've been trying to talk to. Girl, so why? Literally, my friend, she was talking on the phone to me and she asked me about so-and-so. And I'm like, oh, like, you know, we talked a little bit today, but, you know, we're supposed to link later so I can give her stuff. And, you know, psh, psh, hopefully we have some type of conversation, dialogue, whatever. Oh, let me let me wipe my eyes because that is not why I'm emotional. But I was just really I'm really emotional about my journey, to be honest. 
But this took the cake. So, like I said, she was like, I think I'm around the corner from her house. The person I talked to or was talking to. And I'm like, what? And she was like, yeah, ain't her house street addresses, da 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 da. I'm like, oh yeah, that is her street address. She was like, girl, I'm about to ride by there. And I'm like, don't ride by there. I literally said, don't ride by there. I said, don't ride by there. So I get off the phone. So she was like, all right, whatever, blah, blah, blah. So she gets off the phone with me. We get off the phone. And one way or another, I get on the phone with my mom. So when I'm on the phone with my mom, if anybody calling, I'm ignoring it. So she starts calling me like and i ignore it because i'm on the phone with my mama so she's calling again and i ignore it because i'm on the phone with my mama so she called again and she was like you need to pick up the phone right now i'm like what chill why i get on the phone with her i say i said mom let me call you back this girl's blowing my phone up i get on the phone with her she gonna say i know you told me not to come around here but i'm around here and she is outside slobbing down this girl I'm thinking to myself, I said, I know you're not talking about who I think you're talking about. I just know you're not talking about who I think you're talking about. I know you are not talking about who I think you're not. I know because I just told you not to go around there. She's talking about who I think she's talking about. At that point, I was like, what? I was like, okay. So next, you know, while we on the phone is over here slobbing this girl down like they just doing the most outside calls me that's just the like i feel like if you go and talk to other people talk to other people but the, why would you call me call me and say oh you still want to link um da 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 i'm like yeah Mind you, I got two phones. So my friend is on one phone and I'm on my other phone. And then literally my friend was like sending me videos showing me picking up the phone, talking to me while they are literally like in another girl's face, like kissing, slobbing her down. And I am practicing patience and I'm letting God move through me. And honestly, my nervous system is so shaken up that i can't let myself get really too upset because if i already get upset and nothing be going on i'll be sitting on the couch upset so it ain't no way i can really like argue or go back and forth with somebody i'm really going to take it over to the top and probably i don't even know i don't even want that to happen so i get off the phone i'm like all right i'll see you in a, a little bit and then I hang up on the phone with her and I'm on the phone. I'm still on the phone with my friend. I'm like, my friend was like, girl, she literally just answered the phone with you. Why? She? When I answered the phone, she just, she was like, girl, she literally just called you while she's in front of this girl. What is up with her? I'm like, I'm still in shock. I'm still quiet. I'm still in this freaking belief because I'm like, I know this just didn't happen to me. I know it didn't. I know it didn't. And maybe you called me stupid. Maybe I was in denial. But I was like, I got to call her back. I So like 15 minutes went by. I called back. They was out there the whole time. Mind you, my friend is still out there. And I'm telling her, you can leave. Like, please leave. Just leave. I, please leave. Because the last thing I want is just to see you out here thinking I sent you out here because I did. Child, I get back. I call her again. And you know how you can get on the phone with somebody and you can tell they kind of like preoccupied because you can tell. It's like they like talking to you, but they occupy with something else. I'm still on the phone with my friend on the other phone. And my friend was like, girl, this girl is kissing on her neck while you on the phone with her. I had to have her take my phone off me. I take my phone off speaker. And literally like, yeah, we still going, I'm about to um, leave now. Give me like five minutes um from my house i gotta do something da, 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 da. i'm like all right I, I i just said okay chill i don't understand i don't know what you call it i literally 
lost so many friends not saying they were good friends maybe at one point or chapter in our lives they were but in this era no they weren't anymore <laughs> I, when i say i didn't say one word i didn't say one word i didn't say anything because i feel like at the end of the day you're gonna do what you want to do regardless and i was just like oh my god so then we link I didn't say one word. I was like, oh, here's your stuff. Like, you could just take all your stuff. And she gave me my stuff. And then literally I was, because I was like, we can meet. I was like, let's meet at a store. I don't think we should meet at your house or my house. Like, let's just meet at a store. But I'm saying, I said all that to say, like, I'm being showed stuff that I don't even I'm not even asking for it. I'm being showed stuff. I'm not even going to say I don't want to see, but I'm just being showed so many things. And it's making me just so, like, paranoid. Because I'm like, who's next? Like, clearly, if your intentions around me ain't, like, the best right now, or you're just not for me, it's, it's being shown. Like, it's no, it's nobody can hide in the darkness. Nobody can wear a mask nobody can be a sheep in wolf's clothing like like i mean a wolf in sheep's clothing clothing like nobody can do that right now in this season of my life because god had his hands on me he has them all over my body and when i say that i'm super emotional i'm super upset but i don't know what this is and I know I'm growing because the old me would have pulled up at somebody's house or at least said something and the argument would have started. But I was like, I just can't mentally. I'm not going to say I messed up, but I just think I am super like jigsawed inside to the point where I, the, I'm just so fragile right now. Like I just am. If I, the... I just can't believe it. I think that's more so. I just can't believe it. Super shocked. Super like caught off guard. Also for the record, because I didn't state this in the video, I definitely am not mad at my friend. I feel like she was looking out for me, had my best interest at heart. Um, and honestly, it was something that clearly I needed to know. So I just want to throw that out there because I'm really not mad at my friend at all. I just was just like, you know, I'm just trying to keep the drama down. I don't want no mess. I don't want no nothing. So, yeah. And another thing I would like to say is, you know, I'm not really mad about a person talking to other people and stuff like that. Cool. Been there, done that. My whole issue is just make me aware of what you're doing. And also another thing is don't disrespect me by going out your way to call me while somebody is like sucking on your neck or kissing you in the mouth to the point where you like are hesitating and delaying with your responses to me. That's it. That's all. So just wanted to clear that up as well but um <laughs> yeah girl but i will not lie like a lot of people were saying they think i'm going through the dark night of the soul or dark night of the i think that's what it is let me let me google it because i've never heard of that before yeah it's the dark night of the soul and they said the dark night of the soul is extreme is used informally to describe an extremely difficult and painful period in one's life. This crisis may endure for a long time. And it says, um, how you know you're going through the dark night of the soul is extreme sadness with no explanation of why you're sad, uncontrollable crying, a lot of feeling empty, lost motivation activities you once joined, loss of appetite, insomnia, no desire for six <laughs> mm. yeah i never really heard of the dark night of the soul though people was telling me about it in the comments at first i was super scared because i was like what in the world is that but um yeah somebody was telling me i was going through that right now 
Oh, here it is. The dark night of the soul is a stage in personal development when a person undergoes a difficult and significant transition to a deeper perception of life and their place in it. This enhanced awareness is accompanied by painful shedding of previous conceptual frameworks such as identity, relationship, career, habit, or belief system that previously allowed them to construct meaning in their life. The dark night of the soul might sound familiar, but it has various relative conceptions in religious, religion, mythology, and psychology. Some commonly associated conditions like exist, exist, girl, I never can say this word, like exist, existential, basically exist crisis with IAL. I can never say that word. And for, and I think I had that too. Like I literally was like, Oh my God, I'm a lot. Like it was freaking me. I can't even talk about it because it'll put me back in a bad space. But I was having a thing like, I was like, oh my God, I'm really a person. I'm really alive. And one day I'm going to really die. Like that was, oh my God, it was so bad. But I can't talk about it because it's going to put me back in a sad mood. Um, but, and forms of depression that are more recognizable. Other related topics, concepts include positive disintegration in psychology, soul loss, or the descent of the underworld yeah it's a bunch of different things so it sounds like what i'm going through who knows but but yeah i'm gonna um go to bed because it's 4 a.m and i don't know what i'm talking to y'all again hopefully not tonight